what's up guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we'll be going we're going over my experiences with alienware uh what is it on the m15 ryzen edition r5 1.2.0 this thing does come with the mux switch and right now i only have the nvidia gpu installed or you know on the hybrid graphics are currently disabled as you can see we're on cute fish and everything is running Pretty much flawlessly. Now, while I'm talking, um, what we're going to be doing is dealing with the custom kernel because I want one. And that means, first of all, we're going to need the Linux headers. So, headers. Now, I've actually played a couple games so far on this. I've had zero issues. Everything works, even the overclock button. So when I hit function F1, uh, the overclock, it functions perfectly. And, and it's just, it's been great. All the other function keys are working out of the box. There's no need to program anything. Uh, the volume up and down works in GNOME. But apparently it doesn't work in cute fish, whatever. GNOME is more mature. That's probably why. Do make PQG S I did yeah I messed it up I put a double A didn't I? All right so I want to try the five point seventeen kernel and the reason for this is it's just uh it, it has optimizations for Ryzen. Okay so what doesn't work? Nothing. Everything works just the way that it should. Again, the MUX switch made it easier for me to use NVIDIA, just NVIDIA. Uh, Wayland works, of course, because NVIDIA added support for Wayland. The audio works without issue. I am using my uh, recording interface, so we, so you guys have like good audio from the microphone and not the crappy headset audio. But even the headset audio and everything else works out of the box without any issues. Um, the Bluetooth functions, it's actually been really good. As you can see, the Wi-Fi works. Uh, Bluetooth is right here. It's off at the moment, but uh, come on, cute fish. Are you serious? There we go. So now the Bluetooth is on. Proxy, appearance, you know, everything just functions uh, perfectly fine. And there's a lot of complaints out there about Alienware. They're packed with crap with Windows. Not these days. It's been very clean and clear. They install an app to control the fan and the power profiles. Uh, they install the chipset drivers, of course, your NVIDIA drivers and so on, but you can update those as you go, and it's not really going to impact you much. Um, the gaming experience on this 3070 has been flawless, and the Linux experience as a whole has been flawless. Like, right now, I'm going to just, yeah, enable previews off. I'm going to show you how we're recording right now, just so you know. Uh, we're report we we are recording with HEVC, all right. So NVENC, and we got good audio with two channels, and it's PCM 24-bit LE default encoder, and we're recording to the MOV format because we use DaVinci's Resolve, right? So that means we need a compatible container, and Resolve is right. Where are you? You're right here. I'm going to just send this to the dock. That way we'll have it next to OBS. I'm going to open that up. Now, DaVinci Resolve, uh, it works really well. CUDA works. The 3070 is recognized. You go to Preferences and Memory and GPUs. You can see uh, it's discrete main display GPU, 8 gigs of VRAM. And there it is. So that functions. Now, editing on this thing has been an absolute pleasure. No joke at all. Um, imagine editing at 400 FPS on a 4K 60 FPS video. That's amazing. Now, imagine editing a 1080p 60 FPS video at around 600 to 700 FPS. It just instantly finishes. It's beautiful, and I love it. And we're about to render out with all 16 cores. We are Zen 3, so we're going to type 18. And no yield. I don't care about that. 
Default's fine, default's fine, default's fine. No, I do not want the override patch. No, I do not want that. And it's automatically going to include uh, F-Sync support right there. See, patching F-Sync support. Um, I don't know. I've not had any problems with any programs. I just, it's weird. It's like, this is the perfect Linux computer. And I love it. We're just going to hit nope to that as well. Because that could leave out some USB devices, wireless devices, things like that. It basically probes your computer and be like, oh, this is the hardware you have. Better have it all plugged in when you use it or else you're not going to be able to use it later on. Stupid thing that is. I don't know why people do that. Probably to optimize the kernel a bit more, but I'd rather have everything. Look at this. 16 threads of madness. Now, temperature-wise, I did have to deal with the TCC and the BIOS. I did have to set that to 11 from zero so it no longer goes to 100 celsius and it's been great the laptop's actually really cool right now it's pushing out nice cold air the fans they are loud but they're not louder than everything around it so i can still hear everything and through my headphones and it's fine uh believe it or not but this laptop does come with a dac and amp built in so with that i actually have really good audio and i enjoy it a lot we're going to put you right over there. So, other things. What other things? I haven't tried RuneScape. And I'm a, I am love RuneScape. I really do. But I don't... Do I want to... You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to just start up RuneScape. Because, no, 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 no. I realize I'm using all 16 threads right now. So, when you boot up RuneScape, the funny part is... Um, it shuts off acceleration, and I guess it does that to get the max amount of performance. So, Cute Fish in a nutshell is great. Gnome, I had to install that for another video. You guys are going to see that soon. I just have to finish editing it, but that's been great too. Uh, Gnome was so smooth and buttery at 165 hertz display. It's just, it was really great. And again, we're at 60. I really wish that would save. Ah, much better. And did that actually mess with anything? No, it didn't. Great. So if I, if I was going to recommend a laptop that was a gaming laptop that was like 2300 bucks, that's what it was total for me for this thing. Thank you, Dell Financing, so I can pay that off slowly. This would be the laptop, okay? It's been nothing but a good experience. And I just finished watching a video about another Alienware laptop with Linux and they've had nothing but troubles and I don't, I'm, I'm sitting here and I don't know why. It's just been so damn good with this. On Windows, Halo Infinite, max it out and it's just been beautiful. Uh, Far Cry 5, that's maxed out at around 80 to 90 FPS, which is really good. 95 FPS at some times. Far Cry 6 with ray tracing is also really good. Okay, um, I forget where I left off. I had a phone call, so I had to take that. Sorry about that. My overall experiences with Arch in 2022 have also been really good and clean. Um, my partner, I put her on my old desktop with Arch and Cutefish, of course, because Cutefish is adorable, right? And she has uh, a partially broken hard drive. So I have to replace that with an SSD. And I'm going to do that the next time I see her. And we're going to get Windows installed on one partition and Linux installed on the other. Unless she just wants uh, Linux. But we're going to probably do both. And I, I actually tried Ubuntu again. The newest version. The one that's currently in development. And then I tried the one that's not in development. And they're still just so bad there's just so many issues and problems that pop up after a while it just made it not worth it it made arch just like the shining king among distros still for me besides fedora fedora is just godlike in its own respect and i don't know i've tried a few distros on this laptop so far and arch is the one that just works the best with it i didn't have any driver issues on any of the other distros but I don't know, Arch just seems snappier than the rest. 
the custom kernel is going to make things a lot snappier too, which is going to be great. So um, I'm going to let this finish compiling and I'm going to go do what I needed to do for the rest of my life, edit videos uh, with the rest of today, edit videos and stuff, get them uploaded, prepare them for today, tomorrow, and the next day. And I don't know, if you have the same laptop I do or a laptop similar uh, to mine, tell me what your experiences with Linux are with these uh, laptops. Even Pop! OS was great. I love Pop! OS. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Share your experiences in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.